एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू एविएशन ए टू जेड मेनी फ्रेशर स्ट्रेट पास स्टूडेंट हैज आस्क्ड मी अ कमेंट आउट शुड वी टेक एडमिशन इन एमी कॉलेजेस इन दिस सिचुएशन विल देयर बी एनी फ्यूचर विल बी एबल टू गेट द जॉब्स द सेम डाउट रिलेटेड टू जॉब्स वर आस्क्ड बाय फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट्स एंड मेनी फील्ड स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर दैट डाउट्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड I researched about it, talked with instructors, technicians, and engineers. They told me many things about current scenario, and I myself have learned many things from my experience. Since I started this channel, it's one and a half year ago. I have interacted with two thousand plus students, some technicians and engineers who are part of this field, and I will put all my knowledge and experience to reach the conclusion of this common doubt. But before I start to answer your doubts I would like to share some of my experience with you When I took admission in this field I was unaware about its working structure and not knowing anything Then you will ask why I took admission I wanted to do mechanical engineering but it was common I am not saying it's not good but I felt I should try something new So my friend who was doing this course suggested me this AME course and I took a chance. On first day of my class many instructor came for lecture and asked about us. One question they asked was why we took admission in this field. I thought I am the one who don't know the answer but I was really shocked as that none of them answer that question. some gave rough answer some talk about airplane some told they cannot afford to become pilot that's why they took admission but no one told why they want to do maintenance on an aircraft and neither i so from this event i came to conclusion that there are three kind of students who join ame course number 1 those who has lots of interest in aviation and are aware about it number 2 those who just like aircraft and that's why they came into it and want as a secondary option number 3 those who don't know anything but want to build interest and learn about it and do something in this field many students fall in different categories but i fall in third category as i was unaware and not knowing anything but when i started to learn about this when institute taught me about this i fall in love with aviation field and here i am sitting right in front of you learning every day and guiding our major students so if you are student and fall in any of the categories choose this course not just for sake of education but for true knowledge and learn about it because there is no back door you cannot quit and waste your money and time So think twice before you take admission in this AME field. Out of 2000 plus students, more than 500 students ask that will we get good salary? Just tell us that. If yes, then we will do this course. If you are entering this field for good salary, my friends, then you are wrong or misinformed. This field runs because of passion, interest, knowledge and experience. and if you want job for money without struggle then your perspective is wrong i know the value of money and everyone has to earn it for living and you may be right but in every field salary is lesser or there is no job at beginning this you need to understand and after that struggle period is gone then there is good future in this field this field is very challenging and one of my instructor told me that if you struggle for 2 to 3 years in this field then you have bright future and it's necessary as aircraft is not small machine but it's a giant machine even small aircraft has millions of parts and if you have no true knowledge and experience how you can able to fix it so take admission if you have interest patience and not thinking about salary at beginning Now will you get job or not is again the main question. There are many jobless student in this field who either lose their hope or struggling hard to get one. 
as airline or big MROs usually prefer not to take a major student as they don't have much practical experience and lack in actual working knowledge. But CAR 147 is designed in such a way that students can get proper basic theoretical knowledge and actual practical experience. Yet airline are not satisfied with it as they still think it's unpaid experience. So, how to get job anywhere in this field? Many of us are not aware of small regional airlines, charter services, flight training organization and small MROs. They also need maintenance personnel and they put their vacancy, but it got filled up by those who keep strong eye on them. So search such small organization as they can open door for your future. Obviously, they will pay less at beginning, but once you will have good knowledge and experience, most important and interest, no one can stop you from getting your desired job. Many of you are thinking there is no job anywhere, but there is, and I am not misguiding you. Many technicians working in this field, I ask them about it, and they say you never lose your hope and faith, and give interviews with proper preparation and one day you will get that job. So at last to conclude, there is lesser job in this field or I can say jobs not for everyone as those who truly deserve it will get it, except few students use their influence to get one. So have patience, learn and get true knowledge. Also never lose hope, it might take 2-3 to three years but once it will pass you will be a real candidate to become aircraft maintenance engineer. I hope you got some idea about it. So subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to never miss our videos. If you like this video hit a like and vice versa. Share it with your friends and finally thanks for watching. Stay safe.